SP, setting new standards in sports nutrition. Welcome to MHP's All Strength USA. It's Champions Day from the DB Little Bay Resort in St. Martin. We're down to two countries. Who is the strongest nation on the planet using maximum human performance? Hi again, everybody. I'm Doug Anderson. Joining me, former world's strongest man, Jamie Reeves. Jamie, Team UK, Team Ukraine going head to head for the championship today. Team Ukraine are the defending champions. Yeah, well, they're going to come up against it here today with Team UK or unbeaten in the heats coming through to the final. The teams are so equal on paper, Doug. Both teams can do five stones. The highest score we've seen on the three-man log for reps is 12 from each team. Both teams can only clear the 86-pound weight for height. This is going to be a nail-biter. This will be a tremendous, tremendous day of events. Tell me about the weather and how much of a factor that will play. Well, it's been like this all the series, you know. I don't think this is going to play a big part in this. The athletes are ready. They're all lined up to go. They're all fit and healthy. This has got the makings of a classic. Yeah, it certainly does. What about individual efforts, Jamie? Because one individual effort can make the whole difference in this competition. Well, I think it's going to boil down to the first event. Mark Felix is the UK's guy who lifts the black stone. On the other hand, it's UK, uh, Ukraine's Vasil Varaschuk, the only guy that can lift the black stone there. So those individual performances today are crucial for the teams. Time now to go to the beach. Here's our own Tammy Tyson. This is what they're all fighting for. Team Ukraine already has their name on this trophy, and they're going to be fighting hard to keep it there. It's going to be a really close day of events. Let's get going, Doug. Jamie, Team Ukraine has come out first after winning the coin toss. Is that a surprise? Yeah, I think they want to set Ready? the pace for Team UK. They're looking very intense here, Team Ukraine. Melnikov, he's going to be the runner again, taking the red across. That is tough on Mikola Melnikov. He is a big man and puts up the yellow stone. The yellow stone coming in at 285 pounds. Moves the red at 260 across and tags off to Michael Stadov. Vasil Vereschuk gets the green stone up. He'll tag off. Stadov is the holder. Melnikov moving the red stone across again. That green stone is a good one for Vasil Vereschuk to warm up on before he has to attempt the black stone. Yeah, it sets him up for the bigger stones. Melnikov brings it across. A lot of tagging going off here. The last thing they'll want to do is make any mistakes. Here's that blue stone a lot of guys have had a lot of trouble with. But not for Varaschuk, that's on very cleanly. Very nice job from Vasil Varaschuk. Melnikov will move the red stone across and tag off. Alexander Pekarov now on the pink stone, the second to last stone for Team Ukraine. What a problem for Pekarov. He manhandled that, Doug. They've just got to set this up now. The Varus shook on the black stone. Team this Ukraine. is going to set the pace for Team UK. Team Ukraine has a great time going here in the Island Stones. Vasil Vereschuk on the black stone has it lapped. 405 pounds. Vereschuk lifts it to the edge, gets it up and on. No problem for Team Ukraine. All six stones. <laughs> See here on the pink stone, Picardoff just manhandles it. One movement from floor straight onto the top of the box. Here comes Varus Chuck onto the black stone. No mistakes. Very solid performance. Pulls it in, lifts it up. Great time that for Team Ukraine. We're at the finals again. You made it to the finals and you did very well your first competitions. The stones, that was incredible. Do you feel strong? Oh yeah, we feel better even than the first day. First day we was, it, it, it wasn't good for us, but now we are much stronger. Up next in the St. Martin Island Stones, Team UK! Jamie, Team UK comes out and they need a flawless effort in the St. Martin Island Stones. They can ill afford to make any mistake. The back is right up against the wall here, Doug. They know they've got a record time to beat. There was no mistakes. They can't afford one fumble here. And they've got to get all the stones. It's not a question of getting a fast pink. They've got to get all the stones on top in under 137. Team Ukraine sets the new record at 137.07. And what a time to do it in the opening event on Champions Day. Well, Rollison's gone off like a steam train here. Adrian Rollison, Mark Felix on the green stone. Yeah. 
A little bit of a fumble there, but that shouldn't cost him because he's very quickly recovered there. Felix very fast as well, moving the redstone from side to side. Tags off. This will be Eddie Elwood now to the brownstone. The good thing here, Doug, is the attitude of the UK team. They know they've got a record team, record time to go after, and they're going for it. They're not hanging around here. They're really taking it back. Adrian Rollinson on the bluestone, coming in at 350 pounds. Oh, he drops it. He's got to recover very quickly, Rollinson. We said this blue stone was awkward. It's gone. It could have gone here for Aid Rollison. Gone, no! Come on! Tremendous difficulty tagging off. Mark Felix will now have to do the blue stone. 350 pounds. Felix gets it to the edge, rolls it on, goes back to tag off. Aid Rollinson will jump in and move on to a red stone side to side. Well, we've said that blue stone was very awkward, Doug, all the way through this series. And it's just proved costly for Aid Rollison. Eddie Elwood lapping the ping stone. 383 pounds. That's up to the edge. Eddie's got to get underneath. He does. Now he's got to be able to get it on top. Valuable seconds on the clock going away. Elwood slides it on. You see, once a slip or you make a little hiccup, how it affects the team. They start to lose the momentum. 30 seconds left. Mark Felix lapping the Blackstone. Will Felix get that up at 405 pounds? Up on the edge for Mark Felix. So Team UK duplicates all six stones, but we'll see if they can do it in the same time as Team Ukraine. Take a look at it one more time, Jamie. Yeah, you see Aid Rollison here goes for the blue stone. It doesn't come off first time, and it makes you wonder if he gets a little bit frustrated, a little bit jittery here because he doesn't get it again. He's getting mad with himself. He's shouting. In the end, he has to go back and tag. UK, we're at the finals. How important is it that you don't make little mistakes? Well, I think you've just seen that, really. Small mistakes cost you big points. And... Uh, we hope to God that we don't make any more. Yeah, because you did, you did very well. You got the black stone up. Good job, Felix. Again, you got it up. That's a third time getting that up. Is it getting easier? Well, it's getting easier every time. It's automatic now. <laughs> Let's get it up there. No big deal. And we have a log press left. Brian, what are you planning to do on the log press? Fif you have to set the standard here. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. All right. Let's see it. Team Ukraine picks up the victory in event number one. The St. Martin Island Stone, six stones, a record time, 137.07. Team UK, six stones in 2.12.07. So it's one nothing Team Ukraine. The Fisherman's Friend, three-man log press for reps, is up next. Well, Magnus, 680 pounds. It's proven to be a pretty tough event all week. Down to the finals here, we've got two strong teams. What's our numbers today? Well, uh, I think the UK has to do at least 13 to do, set a good number for, for Ukraine. Ukraine are off to a flying start in those stones, and they look awesome. That's a big number, Magnus. These guys are going to have to work in unison from the first to rep. Oh, yeah. Let's find out if they can do it. Up first in the Fisherman's Friend Log Press for reps, Team UK! Jamie, Team UK comes out, set for event number two, and Brian Turner said 15 reps is a definite possibility. Your thoughts? Well, I think it's a possibility, but I think, they've, you know, the highest score they've had so far is 12. I think if they can get 12, maybe 13 is the highest score we've had all tournament. That's really going to put pressure on the Ukrainians. There is Aid Rollinson. Okay, boy. Take a Eddie Elwood in the middle. Brian Turner on the far end. All three guys relatively the same height, all tremendous shoulder strength and good pressers. Well, this looks a little bit better start. Very fast pressing here. Brian Turner's a fantastic presser. They've just got to keep it going here. They cannot afford to let the Ukrainians go 2-0 up at this stage, Doug. They've got to put everything into this log lift now. Well, much like the St. Martin Island Stones, when they needed to be near perfect, they're going to have to have a near perfect competition right here in the Fisherman's Friend three-man log press for reps. 
They need to be almost flawless to post 15 reps. The thing is as well, though, we've seen teams take a break before. UK cannot take a break. I don't think they can even afford to switch competitors. They've got to keep going here to the death. Doing well so far, so good for Team UK. Dave Willems, it has to take a step back. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Can they afford to at least change it and throw Mark Felix in the mix? Well, looked a little bit out there. Mark Felix is coming in for Brian Turner. Struggling again. You see they've lost the momentum. This is crucial. It's got to go now. Ten seconds left. They need that last rep. They power out. Rollinson underneath and gets the clean rep. One more rep. Will they get it up? No. Time will expire on Team UK. But a solid effort and a nice second effort, Jamie, to just get that last rep up. You can see here Brian Turner swaps with Mark Felix. They come in. The momentum's broke a little bit. It's not working as fluently, and they struggle, and they lose a rep there. That could be crucial. I think it's enough to take them, Brian? Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, you need this one. Good luck. Thank you. Here comes Team Ukraine. Jamie, they look like a determined team of four athletes. They need to post more than 12 reps, so the window is open for them to take event number two. Yeah, well, the best score they've had so far is 12 reps, and that was the same with UK. The UK have come up and repeated the best performance. Can the Ukraine do that, or go one better still and get 13? Good shot of Alexander Bakarov. He is one big man, Jamie. Yeah, he's got to be close to 400 pounds, and his upper body strength is phenomenal. That was Vasil Vereschuk, the world's strongest man. Pekarov in the middle. Mikola Melnikov will be calling the cadence, and Michael Stadov will be the man on the end for Team Ukraine. I think Pekarov is so solid in the middle, he adds all the stability to the team. There's a little bit of a height difference between Stadov and Varaschuk, and Pekarov bridges that gap perfectly. We talk about the style of handles in a metal log and how they will Ready. fatigue the bicep so quickly. Yeah, well, as you lift here, it's bicep curl and straight through. That looked a very smooth lift there for the Ukraines. You just feel, though, Doug, when the pressure's on with the Ukrainians, they can just switch into another gear. This looks smoother than ever before. Yeah, they seem like they can win events without getting personal best times. Yeah, but that's the sign of a true champion, you know, looking smooth, calm. Never faltering all the way through the lift. Little bit of a stutter there from start off. Team Ukraine, very smooth indeed in the Fisherman's Friend three-man log press. Well, they recovered beautifully from that. Once again, still nice and smooth. And they look like they've got plenty of strength left in the press. It's not even looking hard yet. There have been no mistakes and no stumbles from Team Ukraine. That is their 13th rep for Team Ukraine. Still with time left on the clock. Great performance there. You see here, we saw Team UK break down on the last couple of repetitions, but no signs of that from the U Ukrainians at all. If anything, they're still working as smooth and they're still as strong. Michael, your team is coming together just as it did last year. You're stronger than ever. You did not look like you faltered at all on that log press. Can you tell us why that is? Actually, the first day, we did know our best. I told you that we are ready for 14, 15 reps, and it was obvious now we can do two more. We had more time. It's first and the second. We want to uh, to be the champion. I think we want it more than UK team. That's why. Team Ukraine with 13 reps in the Fisherman's Friend three-man log press. 
eclipsing the mark of Team UK, set at 12 reps. They tie the tournament record and have 20 points to Team UK's 10 after two events. We move to event number three, the DB Resort's four-man Sudan walk. That's next. Looking like a determined group of four. They need to post their best personal time in order to put pressure on Team Ukraine. Yeah, well, I think, you know, Aid Rollison there, I think a little bit of panic set in on those stones. He couldn't really calm his nerves down on the log. And one guy we haven't talked about on Team UK is Eddie Elwood. He's rock solid. His Rick. performance has been fantastic. I'm Ready. sure he'll have said something to Aid Rollison and calm this team down a little bit. Team UK is one of three teams under 40 seconds, and that is some tournament best times. They posted the best time in the first lap of 100 feet of 14.9 seconds. They well, that was a very quick turnaround there, Doug. It sure was. Team UK coming back, using the whole course, staying to the outside. Team UK. No put downs is what they need. Coming up on the finish line. A few more steps and UK crosses the line. You see here they come up to the turn, drop, a very fast pick up and back again. And now it's a race to the finish line. No put down so far. That's a good solid performance from Team UK. Good job, Team UK. That was very good. You've got to be happy with that, Eddie. Yeah, we're happy. Um, not too happy with the first two events, but happy with that one, and hopefully we can start stealing something back. Yeah, and isn't it so important right now to keep your team together and keep everybody feeling strong and motivated and not get down? Our heads are still rounded. We're definitely still going for it. Um, again, like I said yesterday, I think it's a bit... These events are down to a lot of luck and who makes the least mistakes. So, fingers crossed. Yeah. Outstanding effort from Team UK, 34.74 seconds. They're one of two teams under 35 seconds in the tournament as a whole. Well, here comes Team Ukraine set to take on the DV Resort's four-man Sudan walk, and the records are falling here, Jamie. We had a record in the Island Stones, a tied record in the log press, and now the DV Resort's four-man Sudan walk. Team UK sets a new mark at 32.70 seconds. That's going to be tough to beat for the Ukraine. It is going to be tough to beat, but we've seen the Ukrainians. They seem to have another gear today in this final. But Team UK have really set a good mark here. It's the competition record, and now the Ukrainians know they've got to go down this course faster than anybody in this whole competition. Well, to this point in time, Team Ukraine has been flawless in each and every event as they've stepped it up a gear every time they've taken to an event. We'll see if they can do so in our third event of the day, the DV Resort's four-man Sudan walk. Nikola Melnikov up front is Vasil Vereschuk, Alexander Pekarov, Melnikov and Stadov in the back. They will be the lead man on the turnaround lap. Very quick down the first hundred feet for Team Ukraine. Well, they're not holding anything back here, Team Ukraine. They're really going after Team UK. They're going to give them nothing. 1,420 pound cannon. Team Ukraine, a put down. And that should do it for Team UK. They should be able to pick up a victory. Team Ukraine will cross the line. Well, for the first time, Team UK have forced an error out of Team Ukraine. This could be the changing of the tide. What we said earlier that about setting pace and trying to break the spirit, the Ukrainians know they really had to charge. The last 10 feet or so here, they're coming through, they're forcing it, and the grip slips, I think, from Melnikov, and down it goes, and Team UK stopped the rock. That's 2-1. That was a tough one to beat. UK set the new record. How tough was that? Was the pressure on? Did you feel that pressure as a team? Oh, yes, we felt, felt pressure, but, you know, it was absolutely possible to beat this time, and we was ready. Just, you now this mistake, we lost it on the finish. Yeah, and why do you think that set down happened? Why? Set down, yeah. Ah, uh, you know, it's just an unlock, I think. All right, and you feel strong for the rest of the event? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Team UK 
UK gets the new record at 32.70 seconds. Team Ukraine, a good time at 35.23. The score is now 25.20 for Team Ukraine, two events to one. We move on to event number four, the all-strength stone carry. Original Fisherman's Friend, strong and it works. New Cherry Fisherman's Friend. It works, and you can't beat the taste. MHP is turning the protein world upside down with Probolic SR Protein. Probolic SR is the biggest breakthrough in protein technology ever. When other proteins stop working, Probolic SR feeds your muscles with mega amounts of high-quality protein for 12 straight hours. Watch your muscles explode. And the taste is amazing. Go to a participating GNC to get MHP's Probolic SR Protein or go online and get yours today. Original Fisherman's Friend. Strong and it works. New Cherry Fisherman's Friend. It works and you can't beat the taste. Looks like you're enjoying a quality meal at a casual dining restaurant for about eight bucks. Oh no, I'm much smarter than that. So you got the same quality meal for half the price at KFC? That's genius. I know. Get a breast meal, two-piece meal, or three-strip meal for only four dollars each. And save even more when you feed the whole gang with a ten-piece family meal from KFC. At less than four dollars a person, you've got to be the smartest family around. Yeah, we know. Your dollar goes further at KFC. MHP, setting new standards in sports nutrition. Magnus, this has been a great event. 75 feet, 360 pounds. We've seen over 600 feet. Is that what it's going to take today to win this? Well, uh, I have a suspicion that the Ukrainians have been holding back on this event so far a little bit. So, but they go first now. And they're going to set a good distance for the UK team because the UK is pretty good in this event. All right, well, let's find out what their benchmark is. Up first in the all-strength stone carry, Team Ukraine! The defending champions come out of their tent with a 2-1 lead after three events over Team UK. Looks like it's going to be Michael Stadoff and Vasil Vereschuk, the current world's strongest man, to take on the 360-pound all-strength stone carry. Jamie, uh, this is an important event for Team Ukraine. It is indeed. Uh, and as Magnus for Magnus ah! said, Team Ukraine have held back on this event through the qualifiers. They never needed to go 100% at this. Today they have to. Start off, got to go first. Up high, clasp the hands. Michael Startoff will need the direction from Vasil Vereschuk. He cannot see where he's going and coming dangerously to the sidelines. If he goes over the line, that will be considered his distance. Well, he's not going so fast and he's had a little stutter there at the turning point. He can't see because he's got the stone so high and he's walking very slow. The athletes always try to stay to the outer edges of the course where the sand is a little more packed tightly and walking is a little bit easier. Well, Stanoff's in difficulty now. The stone's starting to drop a little bit. And he drops. That's not a good walk there from Stanoff. He's left a lot of pressure here on Varaschuk. Varaschuk, if he's going to get a good result here, he's got to walk 400 feet alone. Vasil, 30 seconds to clasp the stone and start his walk. Has it high in the chest and off he goes. Well, we've seen Vasil run with this stone, but not today. This is very tentative from Varaschuk. Vasil Varaschuk will need a Herculean effort in order to post one of the top times for Team Ukraine. The thing is as well with this event, Doug, 
The bigger the guy's chest, the storm puts a certain amount of pressure and it's very hard to breathe. Now, Varaschuk is very big in the chest and this seems to be restricting him a little bit. He's slowing down now, he's coming to a stop. You can see he's in a lot of pain here. And he turns after 375 and drops for Team Ukraine under 400 feet. That is a huge opening for Team UK, Jamie. You see, start off here, he never looked comfortable for the word goal. He drops. Second man in is Varaschuk. And you can see his breathing's restricted. He looks in a lot of difficulty. He doesn't look comfortable. And down it goes. And a very long distance. Team UK coming out for the 360 pound all strength stone carry. It's going to be Mark Felix and Brian Turner attacking this event. Any surprises there, Jamie? Not really. I think these two guys work well at this. They've both been over 200 feet before. And that's the distance they're going to need to eclipse the Ukraine's distance. Mark Felix. The first man out of the gate. Felix lifts the stone. He wants to get it up and high. Now the referees make these guys turn their belts backwards so it's unable to rest on the buckle of the belt. Yeah, Felix looked like he's got a good grip here. He doesn't want to leave too much work for Brian Turner. He's got to cover at least 200 feet. 385 is the distance to beat for Team UK. This event is a very draining event. How's it going to play, Jamie, after this event for the future ones? Well, it's going to fatigue the legs and back for sure and the biceps. Mark Felix, now he's got the stone. They don't want any mistakes. Brian Turner's telling him, as far as you can go, we need this win. We want to level this up at two apiece. Coming, the grip is slipping for Mark Felix. Coming up on 225 feet. He will make the turn. Felix goes a few more feet and drops down. Now 30 seconds for Brian Turner to pick up and keep moving for Team UK. Well, all of Team UK's hopes now laying the hands of Brian Turner. He hasn't clasped his hands. That could be a little mistake here. He doesn't want to make a slip. He's got to do one more complete lap and another 10 feet. Well, he's shouting here, Brian Turner. No heroics, Brian, just do a good job. Go for the win. Big smile on Brian Turner's face as he makes the turn. He walks a few more meters. They want to see him finish off the lap. Brian Turner, a big smile on his face as Team UK should take event number four at 450 feet. Brian Turner all the way with a big smile on his face. Well, you can see the confidence brimming through. That's what Team UK needed. They need to level it up. And now they're going in with a confidence sky high into the next event. Felix done a good solid job here. He's over the 200 feet. He drops it for Brian Turner. Brian Turner sets off very steadily. Then you see him coming back. He knows he's got the win. He knows he's leveled the match. Brian Turner's confidence is sky high at this point. Brian, you made that look easy. Was it as easy as it looked? Definitely not, no, but... You were having fun, though, weren't you? Well, of course, it's all about having fun. Mm. Mark done over three. I know what I can do over three, so only two to do, so might as well enjoy it. Good stuff. And how much of an advantage is it coming into this event, coming, going second, knowing what you have to beat? Well, it's really, it's good to go second all the time, because you know what you have to beat. You boost your confidence up. So, you know, just set your side high and let's go for it. So Team Ukraine jumped out to a 2-0 lead, but Team UK has come right back and won the last two events. We're all tied at 30 points apiece as we head to event number five. That's the Schick Extreme 3 Wait for Height. Up next. Stop looking critically at yourself in the mirror. Holiday overindulgence can't be changed, but you can reshape your future. Dr. Greg Sinamone here to encourage you to turn your frustration into motivation. A healthy change to the Cortislim lifestyle of diet, exercise, and Cortislim can reshape your future. And that's the resolution solution. Find Cortislim at your favorite store or call the number on your screen. Go ahead, get your hopes up, get excited, and get into the Cortislim lifestyle. 
HP is turning the protein world upside down with Probolic SR Protein. Probolic SR is the biggest breakthrough in protein technology ever. When other proteins stop working, Probolic SR feeds your muscles with mega amounts of high quality protein for 12 straight hours. Watch your muscles explode. And the taste is amazing. Go to a participating GNC to get MHP's Probolic SR Protein or go online and get yours today. It's the best damn heavyweight comeback on FSN. Former champ Riddick Bowe is back with a vengeance and on a quest to reclaim the heavyweight crown in a special presentation of the best damn sports show period. Plus, Olympic gold medalist Andre Ward looks to remain undefeated on his road to the title. It's a boxing legend and a rising star, and they're only on FSN. Bo versus Zumbrin, April 7th on FSN. After every Cavaliers game on FSN Ohio, relive the magic, the majesty, the fun, and how it all gets done. Watch Cavaliers in the Post, presented by Pontiac. ever G6. See your local Pontiac dealer. Cavaliers in the Post on FSN Ohio is presented by Pontiac. From the DV Little Bay Resort in St. Martin, off we go to event number five, the Schick Extreme 3 Wait for Height. Well, Team Ukraine came out of the blocks, Jamie, with two quick wins. We're all tied at two after four events. Tell me what's going through their mind coming into event number five. Well, I think after the last two defeats, they'll just want a rock-steady performance here, no mistakes. They don't want to give another opening to Team UK like they did in the stone carry. Remember to tell him. I think it's Vasil Vedaschuk wearing the shirt will be the first tosser, along with Michael Stadov. Mikhail Melnikov will feed the implements, and Alexander Pikarov will be the retriever. There is Melnikov. The first one is 42 pounds. Yes. Virtually, this one's been done strictly with arms and shoulders no all week long. Yeah, I think the problem for the Ukraine here, Varischuk is an ex-shot putter. He's done over 19 meters in the shot put, and he's a tall guy. Start off, on the other hand, is a little bit shorter, and I think he's got to keep pace here. So far, he's doing so, but when he gets heavier, we might see a breakdown in technique. Through the third implement, Team UK doing an excellent job. On to the fourth one at 86 pounds. There's that leg thrust up and over for Team Ukraine. No misses yet. 100 pounds. Team USA, the only team in the tournament to get this one. Well, that comes up far shy, Jamie. Yeah, that one was short. You could see Varaschuk launches it, and it goes over to start off side. That means a lot of the power in that throw was coming from Varaschuk's side. Once again, you see it's veering off to start off side. Maybe Varaschuk's got to put the brakes on a little bit and let start off keep up with the swing. How much of the power will come from the backswing when the guys take it back and flow through? Yeah, they build up momentum, but you see again, that means that Starov is releasing before Varaschuk. Varaschuk carrying the momentum over and throwing it to Starov's side. Interesting, they haven't made a change to any of the throwers. No, they must think that these two guys are the best chance they've got. One more that was as close as it would come, only four inches from the top for Team Ukraine. They have one chance left to get this 100-pound weight. Here's Team Ukraine's final chance. Wow! Well, That's you see again, Varaschuk really put the power on again, and it veered off into start off side. Team Ukraine, four weights, 38.49 seconds, so they're saving grace in the Schick Extreme 3 weight for height, was that they were very quick through the first four implements. You see the fourth try at this 100, the momentum's a little better, the release is a little better, and that's only six to eight inches shy. Now, Team UK is coming out of their tent knowing there is another window of opportunity, Jamie. Yeah, they could take the lead for the first time here. They've just got to keep their heads. 
The other important thing is with the time here, Doug, the first two implements with the bean light, you don't want to throw them far back because you've got to retrieve them. You're wasting precious time. Ready? Eddie Elwood on the left, Brian Turner in on the right. Eight roll it's in the feeder. Mark Felix, the retriever. Felix Control. has to go get this one. Bring it back. The 42 always goes over relatively easily. On to 56, 56 pounds. pounds. Team UK doing pounds. a good job of squaring up to the implements. Yeah, they seem to be throwing in unison as well. It's just going off to Eddie Elwood's side. That means that Brian Turner's releasing a little bit late there. 86 pounds. Now that one only just cleared. This could be very, very tight, this throw, Doug. 86 pounds up and over for Team UK. So Team UK has matched the first four implements of Team Ukraine. That's not close as it takes the top of the Schick Extreme 3 Giant Razor. They have four misses left, two more weights. Four more opportunities for Team UK. Well, that last one looked a little ragged. I'll be surprised if you don't bring Mark Felix in and Rollison here. These are two tall guys as well. You can see the fatigue setting into Brian and Eddie, and that's at least two feet short. As we thought, having a swap here. Well, Felix and Rollison move in. Two fresh bodies. Legs, legs, two. That 100 pound is not going up for Team UK. Team USA may remain as the only team to accomplish the 100 pound weight. No, Rollison standing face on again to Mark Felix. He's got to turn away. Both put the backs to the razors. This is the last chance. Everything's got to be right here. Time is starting to wind down on Team UK. They would dearly love to put this 100-pound weight up and over the giant 13-foot Schick Extreme 3 Razor. The last toss will come up shy as well. You see here, swinging again. The body position's right. They come up and release, but it's falling short. Just not enough power and not enough squat power. That 100-pound weight is just so difficult. Um, no one's gotten except Team USA. Do you think it has to do with the practice factor or the size of the of the athlete? Well, what it, what it is, is 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 actually getting together. If you if you can get the throw together, it'll go over. And I think that's what America do. Yeah. And, and that can only come from practice, can it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. And do you, as a team, I know you've worked together before, do you live close? Do you practice no. together? No, we don't, no. Yeah. No. Well, you have great team unison, and good luck with the rest of the event. Thank you. Thank you. Team Ukraine, 72 one hundredths of a second quicker than Team UK in the Schick Extreme 3 weight for height. Team UK a time of 39.21. Team Ukraine a time of 38.49. They pick up the 10 points in event number five and lead 3-2 as we head off to event number six. That's what they've all come here to win, the All-Strength Nations Challenge Championship Trophy. Both teams undefeated and both teams really need a victory here. The Ukraine doesn't want it to all come down to the final event. No, they'll try be trying to put the final nail in the coffin here and beat Team UK. And as we've said, both teams are undefeated all the way through this championship at pole push, but now something has got to give. You bet. Stay out with it. Right. Three feet off. Team Ukraine. Michael Stadoff, as usual, is okay. manning the rear guard. Mikola Melnikov in the middle, and as has been all week, the current world's strongest man, Vasil Fedeschuk, is up front. For Team UK, Eddie Elwood will be the anchorman. Brian Turner in the middle, and Mark Felix, the big man up front. Interesting here, both teams have decided to leave the big men out. Pekarov and Rollison, both around 340 pounds plus. Pekarov, close to 400, have been left off the team. Both teams looking to go for a little more foot speed and agility, it looks. 
Well, there's a standoff here, they're both absorbing pressure. Team UK just trying a little bit there. Now the Ukrainians are pushing. Mark Felix is on one way. Look at Team Ukraine. Vasil Vereschuk leading the way. Start off with an extra push. They come to the end. And the Ukraine win the first of the best of three pole push. They have the first one. You see here, Mark Felix is on one leg, and that boils down to six legs against five. The Ukrainians drive, and they get the win, 1-0. Chip here on the Nations Challenge Series. They'll go with Vereschuk up front. Melnikov in the middle. Start off on the anchor. A change for Team UK as Aid Rollinson has jumped in on front, replacing Mark Felix, and that's a huge change, Jamie. Yeah, well, Felix was on one leg there. He was the weak link. UK, the first time they've lost, how's that going to affect them mentally? They're starting to drive the Ukrainians now. Look at the power from Brian Terror. A big surge from Team Ukraine. They're going after the UK. Eddie Elwood trying to hold it off. Team Ukraine powering through the sand here at the DB Resort. And going down is Eddie Elwood. Team Ukraine comes through with the win in the second of the best of three. And that gives them the overall victory and the nation's challenge championship. Team Ukraine with a big victory in the MHP three-man pole push. <laughs> Well, you see the Ukrainians here start to drive again like a caterpillar. All the feet working together. Eddie Elwood, who's done a fantastic job as anchor man, he's trying to hold and hold, and he just can't absorb this pressure no more. He's took to the back line, down he goes. And the defending champions regain their title, Team Ukraine. Back to back, Nations Challenge champions, Team Ukraine is crowned the strongest nation on the planet. What a touch of class, too, from Team UK coming over to congratulate them. Time to go to the beach. Here's Tammy Tyson with Team Ukraine. Incredible. You, you took another win. Tell me what you're feeling right now, Michael. We are absolutely happy. <laughs> just, you can tell. We're just happy. Just absolutely. You did what you had to do and you took the win. And you said right from the beginning, we're going to go in here and we're going to take them. And you did. <sighs> Next year, are you, gonna, are you planning to come back with the same team? or? Maybe. 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 It worked well, well for you this year. Huh? It worked well for you this year, this team. Oh, yes. No. It's a little sport luck that uh, it was first event was pull push as i told you we are unbeatable in this event there are no team in the world that, who can beat us so it was unlucky for them and luck for, for us well, good job team ukraine congratulations uh, team ukraine remains undefeated in the pull push handing team uk their first ever loss in MHP's three-man pole push. Team UK, did you think that coming into this tournament that you would take the win, that you would make it to the finals? Um, we came a well prepared this year. We came a stronger, a strong team. Um, like I said, uh, it all played a big part in um, luck and timing, you know. But um, our first three events went our way. Uh, this last one, unfortunately, went to the better team. Uh, we, can't, we can't argue with that. And again, I, I, I do... Uh, I have to emphasize that it could have gone either way. We are, I would say that the teams are matched um, quite on par, you know. Uh, the Ukrainians, we have strong, strength in our side, what they, ha they don't have in theirs, vice versa. And I think that this competition could have gone either way, and it was all down to look on the first couple of events. Yes, I believe that too. Um, you, you two have competing, been competing for a long time, Adrian and Eddie. And uh, are you planning to come back next year? You're in your 40s. You're, that's amazing. That's great. No. No. That's it. This is my last show. Yeah. This is my last show, yeah.
And Mark, this was your first time at the All Strength Nations with these gentlemen. How was it as a whole working with them and the All Strength? Yeah, this has been good. Those guys have been great. I really enjoy um, doing shows with them. You know, because they have a lot of experience, and I'm happy to be here with them. Yeah, you're a great asset to the team. And Brian, did you like the competition? Yeah, as a whole, it was a good competition, and I'd just like to thank my teammates because it was, uh, I think we, we gelled probably the best team in the competition, and I think, I think it was playing for everybody to see, and we had a bit more luck on our side when they took the title this year, and I think with a lot of people rooting for us, all the neutrals, so you never know, maybe next year we will talk you into coming back, and we'll be back stronger than ever. Coming up next, our trophy presentation to Team Ukraine, the nation's challenge champion. Break through all barriers to extreme muscle growth and fat loss with MHP's macrobolic nutrition. Now you can get big, strong, and shredded, just like Dave Hawk. He gained 16 pounds of muscle. And John Rurick added seven inches to his chest. Now you too can transform your body with macrobolic nutrition supplements powered by Supro Performance Protein. Evolve your body with macrobolic MRP, the perfectly balanced meal supplement. Macrobolic RTG, just shake and go for better balanced performance nutrition. And macrobolic performance bars, a muscle building, great tasting macrobolic snack. Discover how you can win your share of $50,000 in cash and prizes from MHP's Macrobolic Nutrition Challenge and get the best results of your life. Go to a participating GNC right now or go online and enter today. Bargain Network, the place to find real bargains. Buy cars from bank and government seizures. This car sold $500. This car sold $800. IRS, DEA, repos, impounds, and more. This car sold $500. Find thousands of cars and homes available right now in your area. Foreclosed homes and distressed properties are selling for as low as $199 per month. VAs, FHAs, HUDs, repos, and more. For current listings in your area, call now. 800-290-0847. The new local home of the Arena Football League is FSN. All the speed, all the power, all the action. Experience football closer than ever before. The Arena Football League, all season long on FSN. Columbus Destroyers football is presented on FSN Ohio to you by Nationwide, who would like to remind you, life comes at you fast. That's why Nationwide is on your side. The strongest team on the planet, Team Ukraine, for the second consecutive year. Jamie, your thoughts on how they roll through the competition? Well, they've been professional all the way through. It's been explosive action. I've enjoyed it, Doug, from start to finish. Absolutely. Team Ukraine, the strongest nation on the planet for the second consecutive years at the All-Strength Nations Challenge. Let's go to Marshall Ennis. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Jamie. Well, it was an excellent, excellent competition. And uh, these guys, once again, the defending champions, we have trophies from them from Chami here, individual trophies. Now, this is their second year. They promised to come back just as strong next year. And from the St. Martin Tourist Board, Edward Des with the championship trophy to our team captain. Here you are. Congratulations. Team UK, on behalf of the Allied government of St. Martin and the St. Martin Tourist Bureau, congratulations. And here it goes, up in the air, TDK! There are your champions for 2004, promising to come back strong again in 2005. So the final standings, Team Ukraine, the champions one more time. Team UK picks up second spot, the USA is in third, Team Viking in fourth. Team Poland in fifth spot. Canada comes in sixth spot. Team Netherlands in seventh. And Team Germany in eighth spot. Team Ukraine once again becomes the strongest nation on the planet for the second consecutive year. Jamie, what an effort. Well, there was the defending champions. The pressure was on them. But they came through here and they delivered the goods, Doug. Team Ukraine, the strongest nation on the planet. Team UK, though, what an effort they put through right to the final event. 
Well, they really took it down to the wire, but as we said earlier, we always felt like the Ukrainians had another gear to go into. Absolutely. Tell me about Team UK, though. They're getting a little longer in the tooth. You alluded to that earlier. Will they be back next year? Well, I hope so. I think they'll go away from here, gather the thoughts, you know, see what the strategy is going to be, and I think they will be back. Your thoughts on the overall competition, Jamie? Well, it was just exciting and explosive from start to finish. I thoroughly enjoyed it, Doug. Eight wonderful teams here at the DB Little Bay Resort in St. Martin. Jamie, always a pleasure to work with you. Thank you very much, Doug. From my partner, Jamie Rees. For Marshall Ennis, Tammy Tyson, and Magnus for Magnuson, I'm Doug Anderson. Thanks for joining us on MHB's All Strength USA. The Nation's Challenge Series from the DB Little Bay Resort in St. Martin. Don't forget, visit us on the web at allstrength.tv. NHP, setting new standards in sports nutrition.